little bit of a tour here. This is before, well, no, not before. This is when I start, I've, I have started sorting, but uh, going through slowly. So the first thing you're going to see is my bin, because that's right at the door, which is a makeshift bin. So if you actually have a look, this is my craft room at this stage with all my cameras. I have a few cameras, which um, when I'm working on something, I get to keep one camera or two cameras specifically on that job um, so that I don't have to move something like resin. But, so here we go. This is my drawers to do with resin. So very messy. All my glitters and embellishments. Draw full of moulds. Draw full of tools. What have I got down here? That's one project that I'm yet to do. That was from a kit I ordered. Uh, that's just my mats. And there's more embellishments and stuff that I've done that I don't know what to do with. Uh, and the flamethrower and the gas filler right there. <coughs> Yes, booties. Um, I don't. I tend to wear socks or booties around the house, but because I've got a mat in here, I don't wear them. I get a bit warm. That's all my different types of glues. And so now here, <coughs> this is basically resin and paint. So obviously the art resin there. Uh, messy drawer. They're all messy drawers, they're not organised. <coughs> Anybody jealous? I have face masks. <coughs> Excuse me. My tapes, my pyramid stands and little rollers. And then I've just got little shooter cuts for measurement. One range of paints. Another lot of paints. Okay, so that's that. So my craft desk. So this is where the mess is uh, and I'm yet to clean it up. So yeah, there's my little... That was my replacement computer of the one that used to take off. And if you watch it, you will see it actually does change colours. Hang on. It's going to a blue. So yeah, it just cycles through a range of colours and looks pretty cool at night time when the computer's left on. Um, okay, so here we've got different uh, UV resins plus a little bit of soapy and toffee. There's tints and colours there. That's a lot of mixing. Uh, more embellishments than that. And that is, well, that's got my knife in it and more resin and mixing tools. Then, of course, here we go. I haven't put this in a way. I've just put it out the way dearly. Both the card and the box I've kept. And this is more of a junk pile at this stage. Um, these two trays come out when I'm working with resin because there's tools on there that I'll use. That's actually uh, silic um, oil for filling shakers and the essential gloves and wipes. But my desk, which is the messy bit because I started cleaning. Um, just my speakers, speakers, microphone, um, yeah, tablets that I take every night. Um, just a few different bits and pieces, washi tape and um, cover minders. Obviously I've got my trays. I've just gone through scouting around the um, room to see where I'm trying to find any more trays. Um, my computer, which is really well, I'll probably show you that from the other side. So my computer, uh, currently working on the Geisha. Um, my computer and mouse are wireless, so wherever I go I can move them. Although when I'm actually watching a live, I tend to have a struggle between diamond painting and using my keyboard. Alright, so this is me getting organised. Yeah, this is the Geisha with the um, drills. I've been going through and finding bits of paper and instructions of stuff and uh, just putting them in this bag. Hang on a sec. Okay, putting them in the bag um, so they're protected. This is one camera. Okay, this one is very movable. And my goodness, this has got some angles that I can get, which is really good. 
and then it has I did have it on a uh, see if we can show it light ring I'll try to remember to put a link to that camera because it's all in one and very flexible and really really good it can hold mobile phones as well there is an attachment for mobile phones but my favorite cameras are the live cams and when I've got them in uh, Streamlabs I have to have them named different things so this is live cam close up and then as we work our way up this is me just going through still cleaning up stuff this one here comes up and that's another live cam and that's the overhead so when you see anything coming from top it's usually this camera anything close up is this one uh, when I use resin it's the close up and that one and then I make do with a different one uh, for my what I'm doing is my daily little chats okay so coming around here this is yet again this is another light um, which you can see the light ring there so that light actually does live on a camera stand at the moment um, but it can sit on any number of camera stands I actually got this light through a recommendation from Rachel Ray okay so this is me still sorting out I've got my clips I'm still trying to work out what I'm going to put in there I'm thinking it uh, wax but I'm not 100% sure uh, now oh that's something these the ever moment tubes I have three one is completely in use this one, when I need to work on the space on my desk, I'll roll her into it. But I do have another one that's on the edge, which softens the edging so that when I'm leaning on it, I'm not putting creases. You can see how that goes nicely. I'll move that to the side. So that's a little tip when working with big ones. You're all just about always working on a sharp edge cut an ever moment tube okay so drill trays here got my diamond um, bead and okay so when I do when my two main cameras are under use I use this little guy and I just attach him where did I attach him last time I can't remember where I attached him but he he's movable very movable very flexible not attached to anything at the moment um, but yeah, he uh, comes in very handy. My, now my computer. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. I have so much stuff in USBs that I also charge power packs. And I use these for um, mainly my lights. Because they're not, although it is connected into the computer, it's just better and safer that I do that with lights as opposed to putting my cameras through. So this is where it gets interesting in here. My camera, my, sorry, my computer. So you can see it there. It is actually, the monitor is mounted to the table. It is, I think one of those is a camera. One of those is something else, kind of, or my microphone. And um, this, I can move. Now, let's see if I can get it. I probably can't. So I move that depending on whoops where I'm working and it swivels up and down and I can get it all sorts of angles when I'm uh, diamond painting hang on we'll get that back to there when I'm diamond painting down the end I can actually watch videos while I'm diamond painting uh, okay radio so that's that messy side of things on this side, I do have uh, my big storage. I've got boxes down there. Uh, it's a, a portable screwdriver, handheld screwdriver. Now this is where this is where the mess is. So this drawer here is I'm looking at replacing, but this has got spare drills plus bags of diamond for diamond tables. I haven't kitted up yet. This drawer here, I can't open it up fully. Uh, this is the drills for my um, blank custom. 
And this one here has all my bubble wrap and plastic and then all my spare square drills. Okay. Then I've got two camera mounting stands. Uh, one of them is not mine, the other one is, um, but that's where they live at the moment. Sometimes when I do the overheads, I will actually put the little camera on top of that one so I can mount it. Um, coming along here, this desk is actually, this is not a desk, this was a TV cabinet. It was in the area where I was working, um, but it's not doing anything except being a bench top at the moment for me. This is not staying here. <laughs> okay, so then I have my box that I have when I kit up. So just as a little thing, I have all my tweezers. I've got some little round drill trays. I've got my pegs. Uh, thank you, Cindy Bean. Thing of tray, a uh, tray of drill drills, uh, drill pens. Little baggies, diamond shop baggies. Little pegs, wax, cut up. Um, dry sheets and of course my Xyron with my refill refill the position yeah so that's basically it until you get around the corner and not that I'm eager to show you this bit this is the really bad bit so this is boxes um, when I work on some stuff I can actually put little things in the boxes and then I can move them I can put them in another room so that they're not disturbed. Like some stuff has to take 72 hours to, to set. Well, 24 initially. Um, and that's where I'll put them in boxes. So then I can put them away and, and not annoy them um, so they can set fully. Uh, now, this is my wardrobe. <laughs> so you've got a built-in robe here. Mirrors, it actually helps give more light. And there's me. Um, okay. This is where I store my diamond paintings that I am... Generally what I'm working on, most of the diamond paintings that I've completed are lying flat, with the exception of the geisha. Because she has her flowers, I don't want to lie her flat. We look around there. There's a work uniform for when I go up in sight. And I'm not showing you any lower in that wardrobe because there's crap in the bottom. Okay, so <laughs> you probably did just see the crap in the bottom, which is more bubble wrap and some cushion filler on that. This here, okay, in there I've got drills to sort, to put away. Uh, that's just a heap of, when I don't, the ones that don't have DMC colors and that, DMC codes, they end up in here. Gotta do something with them. Okay. <laughs> These are, next shelf is some stuff to de-kit. So you've got the lion cub there, uh, Le Fies, Cathy Delonce, and the scale, the, I think Anna Dittman, Anna Dittman or Claudia Trembo. All right. For anyone that gets Amazon stuff, you probably recognize this paper. Um, that paper can be put down. I have used it where I put it down underneath resin so that a lot of the resin stuff that drips ends up on the paper, which is going to be handy now uh, because I've got the resin t on the table. Um, God, this is just all bits and pieces. I'm not surprised if I'll find drill pens and that in there. Uh, but plastic baggies... Uh, that's from Paint With Numbers, and that's a heap of stuff that I've just got no idea what to do with. Some baggies, oh, another one of those. Look at that, finding stuff to put somewhere. Um, that's something on my desk. That was a little container I just made, which I put the um, tubes in. Um, my easel, for when I work with the easel, just some more cardboard that I put down when I'm working to protect stuff. And then on the back of the door, we have my next custom that I'm working on, that I'll be working on. I haven't kitted up yet, which is the leopard. I do have my blank custom under there. Um, and then 
just some other big ones that I've completed. So that's the Victoria Moon. That one is the Steampunk Lady. So this is before I even get to um, frame. So these hang up. This is how I hang the big ones up. And when I'm working on something, they go on there. So I'll just show you something that I do. What I have done so on some occasions on the really big ones, I've been able to just hang that on there um, if they don't fit in the wardrobe. But that's that's one of the best things I did. Postcard I got from Dime Moon Shop. Oh, I'm gonna keep my finger off there. But yeah, that's my hang on, put that back in there. That's my craft room tour. Uh, I will say, I'm just gonna open this up again. That's Nathan coming in and out. <laughs> Not using door hand. And you can see carousel. I used to sit that way. <laughs> yeah, pass the bookcase. So guys, that's it for the um, tour. I will show you this, oh, this chair. This chair is absolutely brilliant. It has the levers, the up and down. I brought it for Nathan many years ago as a Christmas present for his road building, but he hasn't set that up, so I've steps, I've uh, hijacked the chair for now. Um, but yeah, that's my craft room uh, window. There's my sheets hanging on the line. <laughs> um, there will, I might do another tour when I need it up even further. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. And uh, there you go, Rachel. You wanted a craft tour. Um, that's what it looks like. And the great thing about, I will say great thing about this, this bench is the fact that most of my big diamond paintings fit on here. Um, I will be able to get the leopard on here to work on that one. Not the leopard, the lioness and cub. I can work on this one without any issue. I've got plenty of room now. No rolling it over or anything. So guys, thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, leave me a comment, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> any suggestions on how to stay neater? <laughs> um, yeah, hit the subscribe button and uh, subscribe so you get all my updates, you get to see what's happening and uh, hit the bell so you'll be notified. And um, yeah, that is that side of it. Um, I was asked by Shawana uh, how I've got my OBS set up. I will take her through that, I will do that. Um, with, we'll show all the different cameras I've got and um, I have to do that using a totally different program to OBS so that you can see what I'm um, working on. But yeah, how, well how to use the program, I have to use a different program to do the screen. So yeah guys, I will say thank you for watching and uh,